it's a family operation. I mean, it's not big. And like I said, we're trying to, you know, incorporate a lot of different, like I said, I got a, a cow calf herd and, and uh, I got a few pigs running around. This is all. Well, ever since I farmed it, I've done no-till farming. I never have tilled anything up. And dad and grandpa and, and Mark, they did the same thing, no-till. In 1980, the McCunn brothers switched all but 30 of their 400 acres of corn and beans to no-till. Their was, land is... I was rolled. born in 77, so I'd have been four years old. <laughs> but, you know, I knew, I remember dad telling me that, that they were one of the first ones to, to implement no-till in the area, so. Dean says originally they didn't really intend to plant the whole farm with no-till. We were in the process of buying a new planter. We'd been reading about no-till, and so we kicked around the idea of buying a planter that was engineered to plant no-till and conventional, so we could try a few acres of no-till if we wanted to. We bought this John Deere 7000 conservation planter. When everyone in the county found out we were going all no-till, we knew damn well we had to make it work. Well, it's just less passes over the field, so you're saving money, you know, on fuel, and uh, the uh, there's you, you get some benefit, I think, on on your water. You're saving water, you know, when you're not disking anything up and drying out that top layer, so you're saving water. And and really, if there's no need to do it, there's why would you do it? It's just, it's just recreational tillage, so it's, it's it's important, especially after you you know you see a six or seven inch rain, and if you do do any driving around, you can see fields that have been tilled and all the soil usually is in a ditch. I'm finding that, you know, wider headlands and more waterways is a, it's a benefit for me because I can, I can feed that. 